Welcome to the STEM Ambassadors Quiz. This is quiz number two, and it's all about the human body. The questions cover topics such as bones and muscles, body systems, and body actions. I'm Kerry. I'm an engineer, a STEM ambassador, and I'm going to be your quiz master today. The quiz contains 10 questions. For each one, I will read out the question and give you a choice of three possible answers. You then have a countdown from five to make your decision. I'll then tell you the answer and if suitable, give you a bit of an explanation. Right, are you sitting comfortably? Let's begin. Question one, how many bones are there in the human body? 197, 206, 211. The answer is 206. Of the 206 bones in the body, the femur, the bone in your thigh, is the longest and strongest, whereas the states, found in the middle ear, is the smallest bone. It measures 3 millimetres by 2.5 millimetres, about the same as a pollen beetle. Question 2. Breathing is a type of what? Voluntary action, involuntary action, reflex action. Breathing is an involuntary action. A voluntary action is one you choose to do, standing up, running, spinning, lifting, etc. An involuntary action is one that you do not consciously do, so you don't tell yourself to do it, such as breathing, your heart beating, digesting food, etc. A reflex action is also involuntary, but it's usually very fast and in relation to a stimulus. For example, if you touch something really hot, you would pull your hand away really quickly. Question three, what type of joint is your hip joint? A hinge joint, a gliding joint, a ball and socket joint. It's a ball and socket joint. The point of a joint is to hold the skeleton together and also to allow the body to make a variety of movements. The body has three types of bone joint. The ball and socket joint can be found at the hip and the shoulder. A hinge joint can be found in places like the knee, the elbow, the ankle, and a gliding joint found in places like the wrist and the spine. Question four, approximately how many miles of blood vessels are there in an adult human body? 80,000 miles, 100,000 miles, 120,000 miles. The answer is 100,000 miles. Human blood vessels include arteries, veins and capillaries. If you laid them all end to end, the distance they would stretch would be about 100,000 miles. That's the same as travelling around the middle of the world more than four times. Question 5. In the human body, what connects muscles to bones? Tendons? Nerves? Ligaments. Beep. 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 It's tendons. While tendons and ligaments are very similar in that they help to hold parts of the body together, ligaments attach bone to bone, not muscle to bone. 
Nerves, in contrast, are fibres that receive and send messages between the body and the brain. They don't hold things together. Question 6. How many bones are babies born with? Less than adults? The same as adults? More than adults? The answer is more than adults. Babies are born with around 300 bones, some of which fuse together as it grows, leaving them with the standard 206 bones as an adult. Question 7. Digestion is where we break down food to get energy and nutrients for our body. But where does the digestion process begin? The mouth, the stomach, the intestines. Digestion begins in the mouth. The saliva we produce when we eat and when we chew starts to digest or break down certain carbohydrates before it even gets to the stomach. Question 8. How many muscles are there in your tongue? 1, 4, 8. The answer is eight. The tongue is actually a collection of eight separate muscles, working as four pairs that enable the tongue to move as flexibly as it does. The tongue is also the only set of muscles that do not develop around a supporting bone. Instead, it's more of a flexible matrix in much the same way as the trunk of an elephant or the tentacles of an octopus. Question nine, what is the body's largest organ? Skin, lungs, brain. Beep. 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 It's the skin. An organ is defined as a group of tissues in a living organism that perform a specific function. In this case, the skin protects us, helps to regulate body temperature and enables the sensation of touch, heat and cold. For an average human, the skin weighs roughly three and a half kilograms and covers about two square metres of space. That's the same weight as eight cans of tomato soup and the same size as a bedroom door. Question 10. Which of these can the body survive longest without? Sleep? Food, water. Beep. 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 The answer is food. The body can survive for about three weeks without eating any food. For sleep, it's 11 days, but the effect of sleep deprivation will kick in after three or four days. This includes things like hallucinations, high blood pressure, and slower brain function. Water is the most important though. The body can only survive for three or four days without water. That's the end of the quiz. How did you do? Thanks so much for taking part. We hope you enjoyed it. For more STEM related resources, activities, and information, head over to www.stem.org.uk and take a look around.